Hey guys, Spina Jude here, and it's that time of year again. Collect Day have just started revealing their figures for next year in 2018. Now I know I'm slightly late to the party here because two of them were revealed last week, but I was pushing out videos over the weekend, so I just didn't have time to record a discussion video on them. But here we are, and I figured I'd just compile those two figures into this video so I could just share my quick thoughts on them. So without any long intros, guys, why don't we jump right in and I'll cover the first two from last week first. All right, the first figure we have here from Collect Day for 2018 is a Mantellisaurus in a drinking pose. Now I think this figure looks great, although in this image at least, the detail doesn't look utterly fantastic. It doesn't really look like there's too many scales carved into the sculpt. I'm not sure how big this figure is. Uh, I didn't really look into it to see if they posted any more information on it. But the colors here and the pose looks fantastic. You can see the colors are very similar to the Ineosaurus, actually, at least the base green. And then we've got some brown stripes and spots on the body with a white underbelly. And you can see towards the head, the white connects from the throat up towards the back of the head and over the eye. And then we've got this patch of bright crimson red underneath the eye, which appears to be black. The biggest thing that appeals to me about this figure, though, has to be the pose. I myself have not seen a dinosaur figurine that is in a drinking position, and I think this is a fantastic thing for dioramas and such. So yeah, that's their brand new Mantellisaurus. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I think it's quite nice. All right, guys, up next, here is their new 2018 Saiuru Mimas. Now, quick disclaimer, I have never heard of this species before. Apparently, the name means squirrel mimic, which is super cool. I think that's an awesome name. And this dinosaur is just utterly adorable. Now, Collecte's figure for 2018 of this Saiuru Mimas looks completely adorable and totally awesome at the same time. I love the covering of feathers on the body, and I love how thick the tail is, how thick the feathers are on the tail really makes it look bushy like a squirrel's tail where this squirrel mimic gets its name. The colors are really nice as well. We have like a chestnut brown with some black and dark brown highlights and the skin itself looks like it's colored a light gray underneath the feathers. Also for accurate proportions and such on the figure, they've included an attached base, which actually looks really nice. Now I know some people aren't fans of display bases and such that cannot be removed from dinosaur figurines and such, but I personally am a big fan of it for figurines like this if you want to have, for example, accurately sized feet and you want to have really dynamic poses and such. The base here for this Saiuru Mimas looks really nicely done as well, I have to say. It looks like it's just a chunk of rock taken straight out of the ground. For previous figurines from Collecte, such as the Deluxe Torvasaurus, the base didn't look hardly detailed at all and just looked like a cheap piece of plastic in my opinion. But this one, at least in the promotional image here for this Saiuru Mimas, looks really nice. So yeah guys, this is the new Saiuru Mimas from Collecte, or Squirrel Mimic, for 2018. I'm really fond of this one, I wanna get it. I think it's super adorable, and Collecte has yet again introduced me to another new prehistoric animal, which is super awesome. Up next, guys, we've got another ornithopod. This one was just revealed today, and it is the Iguanodon, a deluxe 140th scale Iguanodon. I have to say, I think this might be one of the best looking Iguanodon figures that I've seen. The colors look utterly fantastic here, the pose is quite nice, and the sculpt work with the details looks stunning so far. You can see that the color scheme consists of a yellowish underbelly with a green top on the body. We have some dark gray slash black markings and there's some dark burnt orange spots on the body. Now the color scheme here is actually very similar to the Mantellisaurus that we just talked about a minute ago. I think it would be cool to put those two figures next to each other because the Iguanodon is a deluxe figure, it's going to be much larger. So you could perhaps have this one on the lookout sort of looking for predators while the Mantellisaurus is next to it having a drink. I think that would be super cool for a diorama or something. So yeah, that's the new Iguanodon from Collecte. This one looks fantastic. Up next, we have the brand new 2018 Dunkleosteus from Collecte. Now I'm gonna be honest, when I saw the email from Collecte and they said that they made a Dunkleosteus figure and the image was attached to the email, I got so excited. If you don't know me, I love Dunkleosteus, one of my favorite marine animals of all time. So I loaded up the picture and when this picture came up, I was sort of disappointed to be completely honest. I mean, I don't know why this figure just doesn't appeal to me and I don't think the pose looks very natural. 
First of all, let me just get out of the way that I love the head sculpt here. This is a deluxe 120th scale, by the way. And the head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. The detail is stunning. I love the black eye and the bony jaws look fantastic. But beyond the head and moving into the body, it just seems like there's an unnatural, like, hunchback growth on the back of the Dunkelosteus. At least, maybe it's just the image here. Maybe it's just the angle we've got this image at. Maybe once it's in hand, it will look better. I'm not sure. The color scheme slightly reminds me of the Chronosaurus from Collecte from this year, 2017. And it reminds me of the Dunkelosteus from the BBC special Chased by Dinosaurs with Nigel Marvin. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen that. I grew up watching those. There was a mini-series inside Chased by Dinosaurs called Sea Monsters where Nigel Marvin traveled back in time and visited the top seven deadliest seas, I think it was. And the Dunkelosteus looked almost identical to this, I think. I'll put up an image of it or a clip from it in editing. But yeah, but you can see that the color scheme consists of a mostly brown body with a burnt orange top and some black markings. I do think the detail looks fantastic on this though. I think it's just the pose and the sculpt work between the head and the actual body that just doesn't do it for me. But then again, like I said, it could just be the image that we're getting here. Also, this figure has a movable jaw, which is awesome, so it's going to be similar to the Schleich Dunkelosteus, where the jaw is going to be hinged, which is super cool. So yeah, that's the new Collecte Dunkelosteus for 2018. So far, not a big fan of this one. I'm gonna wait to see when more images are released, but you guys let me know what you think of it. And last, but certainly not least for today from Collecte's 2018 releases, is their new 120th scale deluxe Estemonosuchus. Now, the funny thing about this is, I don't know if you guys remember last year when I did my discussion videos on Collecte's 2017 figures, I was sort of hoping that some company would uh, venture out and make a Gigant Spinosaurus and a Regali Ceratops, and Collecte delivered and made both of those that year, which was pretty funny. Now, just the other day, I was browsing images of Estemonosuchus online, and I said, this creature would make an awesome figure for some company to make, and behold, Collecte made it, like, the day after, or two days after I wished that secretly, so thank you, Collecte, that is awesome. And this figure here looks utterly fantastic. It is said that it has a movable jaw as well, which is awesome. I love the details on the bony protrusions on the face and the horns and such. That looks really nice. The interior of the mouth looks like it's sculpted really nicely as well. I also like how the eye is done in a black color there, but the one thing that I'm not completely crazy about, but it is growing on me the more I look at it, is the color scheme. I think the yellowish underbelly and the greenish top works out really well, but I'm not too sold on the orange spots yet. But that's just a personal nitpick of mine. This one looks fantastic, and it's a great addition to Collecte's Prehistoric World collection. Let me know what you guys think of this one down below. Well, there we go, guys. Those are the first five figures Collecte have revealed for their 2018 releases. Just to recap quickly, we've got the Drinking Mantelli Source, the Sayuru Mimas, the Deluxe 140th Scale Iguanodon, the Deluxe 120th Scale Dunkelosteus with a movable jaw, and the Deluxe 120th Scale Estemonosuchus with a movable jaw. I think out of this batch so far, I'm bouncing back and forth between the Estemonosuchus and the Sayuru Mimas being my favorite, but I think I like the Sayuru Mimas the best so far. Let me know which one of these is your favorite so far and give me your opinions on them. I personally think they all look great, just not a big fan of the Dunkelosteus. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also leave a comment down below telling me your opinions on these brand new figures from Collecte. So thank you so much guys for watching, and as always I will see you in my next video. Take care, and bye bye